What's up internet? I got my HoloLens about 24 hours ago. I had a time to play with it and I really like the device. There are a few things that are driving me nuts and I want to see if there's anyone out here who is interested in collaborating and just talking about these ideas. But first things first, let me show you the uh, HoloLens. Here it is. Um, super beautiful device. Super, uh, super light. Like easy to put on. Just basically glasses. Looks very Star Trek y too. Um, I'm a little surprised this came from Microsoft, but also, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome that they're doing such slick products now. And um, packaging and everything was great. Like, here's the top of the box. Look how cool this is. But, but, so here it is. It's really good. It's uh, a super great display. Everything looks amazing. Uh, Ergonomics of the device are great. It stays on the head really well. Uh, I mean, packaging is awesome, and uh, so far everything's been really good. Except, except for one thing: is uh, the thing still runs Windows 10. Uh, yeah, and Windows 10 is not designed for this holographic, abstract experience. And let me give you an example: when you set up Hololens, you gotta set it up. Uh, using your Microsoft password and you got to connect it to your Wi-Fi, which means you get into the screen that was designed for a whip that actually has a keyboard, but you can't touch the keyboard. Uh, touch gestures are not allowed, so all you can do is you can do this to open things with this to click them. So now imagine you have like a really long password and you need to click every letter and and you need to focus on it with your head but the keyboard is tiny. The keyboard is about like right here and this is by the way about all you can see in HoloLens so you can you can look around and see the space around you which is amazing. You can actually drop things on the wall somewhere here on the wall over here and things will stay but when you look at things it's about this much. So you have to have your head focus on a tiny little object on the screen, tiny little letter and then you need to click it. And then you need to do it like a hundred times for all your passwords and all that kind of stuff. And it's just mind blowing because it just doesn't work. It took me a couple hours to get this thing set up because it was driving me nuts. And holding your hands in the air is also kind of tiring, but luckily they solved that with a little clicker. But to set up a clicker, you still need to go through the painful experience of first doing this in the air for half an hour. Anywho. I think that's a huge problem for this device and maybe for virtual reality in general because you gotta be able to touch things because you want to touch them because they're right in front of you, they're like right here, but you can't. And uh, until we can, there's gotta be other opportunities like maybe just a real keyboard because you can type on the keyboard, everybody know how to type. Maybe you can take the keyboard and blow it up around you so everything is big. You gotta make targets big, they gotta be like augmented reality ready, right? So if I'm looking at something that's far away and I want to click it, my clicker needs to not be this tiny little dot in space far, far away. It needs to like actually tell me, hey, you are controlling this target. You got it, right? And that needs to show me. And if I'm looking in front of me on a table, the keyboard I'm looking at shouldn't be tiny because controlling things with your neck is actually really hard. So that's kind of the biggest problem that I'm seeing with HoloLens right now and otherwise it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to what I can develop on top of it, what other people are going to develop. Um, tiny, tiny other downside, you actually can't seem to be able to take pictures and videos when you're in an app. So I can't record an app and share it with you and show what I did in the app because you control it via Cortana, etc, etc. It doesn't work. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, this is cool. Uh, it the costs about as much as an iMac, so it doesn't quite do as much as an iMac right now. I can probably do 100x more with an iMac than I can do with this, or maybe 1000x more. But still, this is the future that we're all going to live in. And I'm actually a lot more interested in uh, augmented reality that you can manipulate other than the, in comparison to um, virtual reality, because I think augmented reality can strip out a lot of the world we live in. Advertising, traffic signs, um, stoplights, uh, you name it, right? Like things that exist in the physical world that don't have a lot of meaning can all go away because you can just put this thing on, turn it on, and you see things that don't need to be there when you don't need them. Anyways, if there's anybody out here who's interested to talk more about 
uh, user experience in object manipulation with HoloLens and in augmented reality. Let's chat because I think this is cool and there's a lot more opportunity.